Honey Pop 2. Double Date. Is my favorite game of the year. Hi, this video is a serious review on Honey Pop 2 Double Date. I have been excited for Honey Pop 2 Double Date for years. Well, two years since the teaser came out. I've been excited to play this game because I love the first game. I love the characters. The puzzle mechanic was pretty fun. Yeah, pretty fun. But most importantly, I liked the characters. I thought the characters were great. I really loved the writing. They genuinely made me laugh out loud. And after playing Honey Pop 1, uh, I played another game by the same developer called The Spiral Scouts, which originally when I saw it, I was like, oh, this looks very, very kiddish and there aren't any nudity. And so why would I want to play it? And then I played it. It was amazing. There was the same crude humor that I really enjoyed in the game. And it's a genuinely really fun game without any NSFW moments. So that really just got me attached to this game developer. And now finally, Honey Pop 2 is out. Yay. So how is the game? Starting off, let's just talk about the gameplay. Yes, the gameplay. The puzzle system here, very good. Much, much better than the first game. It's a substantial improvement. Of course, there's still the progression of uh, token power and passion and all of that and gifting gifts, that mechanic. That was good stuff in the first game, but they added more because of the double date system. There's a stamina meter that makes it so you can't just match everything. You can't just constantly set up four or five matches and then match them. That was how you would play the first game, and there would be gifts that um, would constantly be able to give you moves back, making the first game's puzzle system really easy when it came down to the end. While here, there's a lot more skill and depth in it with its stamina systems and all of that. And also, the baggage system. It's great. What a baggage is, is each girl has some kind of negative, or not necessarily negative, but mostly negative personality trait that affects them that ex affects the gameplay. Like, for example, um, Zoe, this girl would just suddenly boom, cause she's n nuts. Suddenly a row of uh, tokens would just disappear out just into thin air. And then uh, another, another character is uh, Nora, who it would spawn more broken hearts. She has a baggage where she'd spawn more broken hearts on the grid, however, Matching Broken Hearts does not affect her. So just these really interesting things. And there's a lot more super interesting effects here. Some of them are just like, oh yeah, you can't gift them gifts. Um, but a lot of things that can be really interesting. Like, ah, Sarah. Sarah has the trait Attention Whore. <laughs> what happens is that she can randomly just steal a turn from the other person. So you can match something for another girl and then it, she would suddenly take all that affection and you'll be like, what the fuck, Sarah? So, you know, it's a great system. I thoroughly enjoyed the puzzle and I played on medium, medium difficulty like I do for pretty much all games and it provided a decent challenge. I failed like three times. It, it, it was intense and there were m many times, I'd say most of the times I was on the edge of my seat being like, oh God, please, how, how, how can I figure this out? Please don't let me fail this state, please. And yeah, I just thought that was a really exciting feeling and they made this system really well. And now onto the real meat of the games, the girls. They interact with each other a lot more cause it's a double date. And I really love the dialogue. I really love all the characters. To begin with the, yeah, there's the returning girls. Kiyu, Kiyu is great. Uh, she's the best wingman ever. However, you can't fuck her in this game, but uh, because of hilarious reasons, they really, they really follow up the story from the first game. It's the same main character, and uh, I find it really nice how they handle the progression of time here. Uh, the whole plot is that you need to save the universe from these space aliens who are going to have their uh, period that would destroy the entire galaxy unless you have a threesome with them. So you're practicing having threesomes with, well, double dates. Uh, yeah really ridiculous premise, but they played it off really well. It was super funny. And the climax, the finale of this, it was pretty climactic. It was really dramatic. It's exciting stuff. And um, I think 
it reached a level of story finality that the first game didn't. However, the first game had some DLC characters and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's turn back to just the characters. So when I first saw this roster, I was like, oh, well, none of the, like, how many girls from the first game? Two? J Jesse and Lola? Really? Where's Audrey? The first game just had such a vibrant and amazing cast of characters that I wanted to see them more, but yeah, it makes sense that they're not here because you are you travel to a remote island. These new characters, however, they're great. Um, originally, when I looked at them, I was like, Ugh, what are these characters? They don't look as appealing as Audrey. However, they are written beautifully. I really liked how they're written. I really like their dialogue and interaction. Sarah is annoying as fuck, but <sighs> bravo on them for making her so annoying. Also, I just really like the little tie-ins to the first game that uh, this game has. I, Because Nora, for example, is Kiana from the first game's cousin, so they would bring that up occasionally. And uh, Jesse, of course, is Tiffany's mother, and you can see how her life is going. And honestly, there's some writing that genuinely touched the heart. It's really weird, but it really did work for me. Some of what Jesse said about how uh, she's growing old and how she's having regrets. Honestly, really good dialogue. These characters are all, you can tell, uh, there's a certain passage of time from the first game and you can tell stuff has changed. And also there's like Brooke, who's Audrey's mother. I wish you would mention Audrey, please, because <laughs> Audrey, but it turns out she had like a thousand husbands. So, and she's a gold digger. So that explains why uh, Audrey was so was spoiled, but uh, also rebellious, and um, she felt like someone uh, who was spoiled but also neglected, and that makes sense. Just all these things that round out this world. I love it. I love that so much. And also, there's just references you can make to the first game via dialogue, and I love them too. They really make this game a worthy sequel. Ah, yes. I'm, I wonder you're asking the question, who is best girl in your opinion? It's Ashley. Why? Well, because of this line. Hey, slots! I haven't felt this giddy since I played the Spiral Scouts. There's something really about this game developer's writing style that really <laughs> works for me. The crude humor and just the voice acting is all done super well. I love this game's writing. I love this developer's writing style and I cannot wait to see what he pumps out next. So that's it for my Honey Pop 2 review. Is it worth the current $20? Uh, <sighs> maybe. It really depends on what kind of person you are. For me, definitely worth it. I've been waiting for this game for so long. I was so hyped for it and it definitely met my expectations. So I'm so happy about that. But for your average Joe who hasn't played Honey Pop or the Spiral Scouts, would you play this game? Uh, maybe catch it on a sale. I think $20 is a bit high for someone who hasn't been exposed to this person's work before. But seriously, there's some great stuff here. And I don't think you should play Honey Pop 2 unless you played Honey Pop 1. You can straight up jump into it, but there's a lot of things that you're missing. A lot of my satisfaction from this game came from, oh, that's a reference to the first game, or oh, that's a story beat that progressed from the first game. And I just really like that subtle background storytelling that doesn't really get in the way of the gameplay, but uh, it's just really good. And the writing is great. So yeah, hey, this video is about playing the Spiral Scouts. If you haven't played the Spiral Scouts, do it. It is so fun. The puzzles are pretty okay, but they're pretty creative and the humor is wonderfully crude. I love it. I love this developer. I love Honey Pop. I love Honey Pop 2 Double Date. And yeah, that's my review. Thank you for watching. Oh, you're still here. Hi. Well, since you're still here, let me talk about today's sponsor, Gary.